Okay, so now that we have the pumps assembled, as well as the electronics board assembled, uh, we're gonna go ahead and show you how to run the pumps for the first time. So the very first thing we wanna do is make sure that we have the appropriate micro-stepping enabled on our board. So if we go ahead and look here, we can see that uh, in my case, I'm using one micro-stepping, but if you were to use different jumpers on the different pins, you could have one over two, one over eight, et cetera. Uh, you can look at the Pololu documentation for that. So once we decide what micro-stepping we're gonna use, we'll go ahead and plug our Arduino in our, in our, into our computer via the USB port. Okay, so everything sounds good, everything's activated. And now we'll walk you through the GUI. So once we install the software, we can run the GUI through either the command line or we can run it by double-clicking the executable file. So first we'll go to setup and we'll look at the port and we'll see that my port isn't available, the one that I connected to. It just shows me this Bluetooth port, so if we click refresh ports, wait a second, okay, we look down, boom. That's where my Arduino is connected, so I'll select that port. The next thing I want to do is set the micro-stepping associated with the hardware micro-stepping. So this is very important that these two are the same, otherwise you're going to get inaccurate flow rates. So you have the option for one, two, etc. In my case, I'm using one. If I were using one over 32 micro-stepping, I would simply select 32. Okay, so once that's done, we'll go ahead and press connect to controller. Okay, so we connect it to our controller. And now we're gonna go ahead and, and um, put in some speed acceleration values just to test some things out. So we'll go ahead and just, for our test, we'll do five millimeters per second on all of them. And an acceleration value that's high enough such that the speed profile will be relatively constant. However, you could change this as you see fit. Also note as I'm changing these things, the terminal on the right hand side updates. So this is really useful if you want to debug something, let's say you didn't have the right flow rates or maybe you set the micro step in wrong. This can be very, very helpful. Now if you look at this jog delta column, you'll see that there are a bunch of different options. Uh, this pretty much tells you if I press the jog button, how much will the carriage move? So in this case, a one would indicate it would move one millimeter. So I'll change that. Also, I can change different units. So for example, if I did milliliters per second, this would mean that my flow rate is now five milliliters per second and my jog is now one milliliter. So this is very important to keep in mind. I can also change the syringe depending on what kind of syringe I have and the units will update accordingly. So once that's done, I'll go ahead and click send all settings to send everything to my Arduino. Okay, it's done. Now I'll go to my syringe control panel. Now in this panel, there are a couple things that are still in development that don't currently work. And those three things are this panel here, which will indicate where each uh, syringe, how much it has been displaced. The second thing is this coordinates panel, and the third thing is the zero button. As of now, those don't do anything, but we're working on it. In order to run a single syringe or multiple syringes, you go ahead and you have to toggle each one of these. For example, if I wanted to run pumps one and three, I would have one and three selected. But to test them, we'll go ahead and enable all of them, and we'll press the jog plus button. So we anticipate that this will move the carriages one millimeter this way. So if we click it, it looks pretty good. So now I'm going to go from jog plus to jog minus, and these should move backwards. Looks pretty good. Another way in which I could run the syringes is I can change the amount I want to displace them. So let's say, for example, I want to move pump one forward 10 millimeters, and I want to move pump two backwards 10 millimeters, and I want to move pump three forward eight millimeters. So if you notice, I put a minus sign indicating I wanted to aspirate or move the syringe plunger backwards. So once all those three values are set, I can simply click run. Okay, that's good. Another cool feature of the system is that I can pause and resume a syringe. So for example, let's go ahead and set all these to be zero, except for syringe one. And let's say I wanted to move syringe one back 20 mill millimeters, so I do minus 20. So what I'm going to do is select run and then select pause, which will pause the syringe sled and then if I press resume, it will resume it. So let's watch that in action. 
So first I press run. And I pause it. And I resume it. Oh. Oh, you didn't actually see it that time. Let's do that one more time. It was out of frame. Sorry. So we'll do that one more time. Press run. Pause it. Resume it. And there you go. Works pretty nicely. Of course, if there are any bugs, please feel free to report it to the GitHub repo. We're actively monitoring it and we'll fix them as they come up. Thanks again.